Taha Hadid was a famous artist and architect. An architect is an artist who designs buildings. Taha Hadid made buildings that were public places and also private homes. She used organic shapes in her designs. Organic means from nature. She was inspired by the nature and the landscapes from where she grew up. She grew up in Baghdad, Iraq. Zaha Hadid designed buildings all over the world. She's inspired by nature, so she incorporated elements of nature from those places into the buildings that she designed. For our project, we are going to design a building using some of the memory and knowledge of landscapes that we have seen or landscapes that we want to see and places we want to visit. To help us come up with ideas for our project, we're going to start with what Zaha Hadid did. We're going to research some landscape pictures to help us come up with some organic lines and shapes to inspire our building designs. So I'm going to start with a Google search image of a landscape. Now, in the slideshow that, we're, that we are using to collect our work, at the end of the show of the slideshow, you're going to find slides with a bunch of names in them. Find the one with your name. Try not to select somebody else's name. And it tells you what should be inside these picture frames. So I'm going to start with this one, where I live. Now, most of us live in Michigan right now. So we can start there. So look for a Michigan landscape. If you are living in a different state, which I know one of us is, um, you would look up the state you're living in and landscape. We're using the word landscape because we don't want to find pictures of things from Michigan that are not landscape. If I just typed in Michigan, I would just find pictures of maps. But I'm looking for pictures of the land like I see here. So find a picture that you really like. Wow, I think this one's pretty cool. The trees on this rock on the lake. So I'm going to right click, copy image, then go to the slideshow and paste it. So right click, paste. I showed you in a video a couple of lessons ago how to copy and paste on the on a mouse and on a touchpad. So I'm going to show you um, how to find a place I've been to and describe how to right click on a touchpad. So I want to, uh, a place I've been to, I have been to a couple of different cities in Michigan. I could look up some of the places I've been to in Michigan. If you have traveled outside of the state, like I know some families visit Florida, some families visit other states, you could look up the name of the state you have visited and the landscape, or if you've been outside of the country, you could look up the name of that country and landscape. I've been to Nevada, which is a state. I'm gonna look up Nevada landscape and find a nice picture of a landscape. I'm looking for one that's a little bit different than the one I already picked. So we're looking for three pictures that are different. I think since Nevada is mostly desert and has mountains, I want one that has desert and mountains in it. This one's pretty good. It has a nice tree here too, kind of inspire a uh, different kind of organic shape. So um, I'm using a mouse, but you can also instead, if you don't have a mouse, use your touchpad. So use two fingers to click at the same time and it'll come up with this, this window here go to copy image, go to your other tab, and then two fingers to click, go to paste. This is a little bit too big, so I need to scale it down. I'm going to grab the corner here, squish it down a little bit, put it in a place I've been to. A place I want to visit is your last one. So Think about places you might have seen on TV or places that 
people have described to you that are very beautiful and nice or someplace that you've learned about that seems interesting. I think it'd be interesting to visit Ireland. So I'm going to look up Ireland landscapes. I'm going to keep the word landscape in here because I don't want to find a bunch of pictures of maps. That's not very interesting for what we're doing right now. And wow, I really like this curved line of the road along the cliffs. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to right click or use two fingers to click on the touchpad. Go to copy image. Go back to the slideshow and then two finger click or right click again. Paste image. Put it in there. So now I have three pictures and I'm done with the assignment. When we um, have our next assignment, we are going to create a design for a building that we would put someplace in um, either in the landscape or inspired by the landscape.